What are you guys cooking? Crusty bacon. What? <laughs> <laughs> really crusty. Oh my gosh, it turned out terribly. It's disgusting. Blame Perry. Chris is whipping up the eggs in the kitchen. Oh, it's looking so good out there. All right, well, I'm going to go learn how to fly this drone. So, like, two days ago, I was doing pretty good with flying this drone. Yesterday, took it out on the boat. It was super windy, and it was just an absolute mess. This guy really should have been, like, in the water or just absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I think the one issue I'm really gonna come across this trip especially is getting some sort of GPS signal. Because I've got like 13 to 14, which should be good enough, but like, this is what my camera looks like. I don't know what's going on. It might be something to do with the iPad, but we'll see. Oh, there we go. I definitely have not mastered the drone yet, but, uh, oh, it's missing the battery. But I'm getting close. I'm getting really close to understanding, not getting close to mastering it, but getting close to really understanding what this thing's all about. Really think this is gonna come into play when we're actually on the water fishing. Which we need to do, like, right now. Big ones love bending out deep at like that. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me, dude. Oh, he's still on it. There he just got him. I don't think it's that big, he was just aggressive. Oh yeah. <clears throat> One dollar BPS popper works in creeks, rivers, ponds, and big northern water lakes. Little guy right there on the popper. That's like my third smallie of the day. We need to pick up the pace, so at this point we should have had at least 15 pounds of smallies. Still, quality fish though. Some are still on beds, some aren't. It's kind of weird. There he is. Chris and I stumbled on what is probably a pretty decent spawning ground for these fish. They really should be done, but sometimes, especially up here in the north, they can spawn a little late, sometimes a little early, depending on the fluctuation between cold and warm weather. So it's not the not my favorite way to catch them, but usually some big fish will get, uh, get to bedding, especially here in this clear water. And it's super fun to catch them and pretty easy. Maybe this water's a little bit colder. Rando cast hookup? It's probably on a bed. Oh, first drop shot fish of the trip. And it is a squeaker. Not the giant bronze backs we're looking for, but it's a good sign to see some life, especially this has been pretty slow today. Nice little smallmouth. Okay. Going? Yeah. Oh shoot, I'm getting bit. Double. Is mine decent? No. We are doubled up with two squeaky smalls. Yeah, you can put yours back. Oh, this is not the kind of fish I want to be catching right now, but it's better than nothing. I don't think Perrican and Flair have really kind of figured them out yet. I mean, we don't have them figured out either, but at least we're onto something. Oh yeah, these things are really, really not cool. Yeah, I'm on the front deck. What line is that? Oh, another one. Oh, no. oh he's not there yet. <laughs> there we go. Oh, they're eating the Kytex. Just loving the Kytex. This is my second fish on it, and I've only taken probably like less than a dozen casts, maybe a dozen. Yeah, we're coming through with the uh, calling for the catcher. 
Oh yeah, buddy. Stumbled a, stumbled upon a bite. I just caught two back to back on a Kitek. There's not okay, well let me just let me just be clear. They're not big. There's a bunch of beds over on this island. You can probably get some pretty sick underwater footage to be truthful because they're in really shallow water. But they're not giants. You're not a part of the community. I said you're not a part of the community. You think that's cool? Were you bed right now? Yeah, there's one on a bed. It's like a decent one too. Can I put my camera down? It was random, yeah. I don't know. Sightfish is a very clean and professional way of saying bedfish. No, that was a rock. Let me know what I can cast. I'm gonna put a new Kitek on. He went on, dude, he literally went right through your tripod. That was so sick. Is that the worm you're using, pink? If he doesn't eat that, he'll eat this. He'll eat this. I'm using this crusty little rod right now. I don't now. even know if I hit record on my- like Let me know when he's got it. Oh, I, got the wrong I can't see anything. He might have it. There you go. I told you. <laughs> Let's get an actual weight on this fish okay. if we can get it in. Come here. Come wow. here. There he is. Yeah, that's pretty close to what we've been catching. Yeah? Yeah, that's yeah. a little bit smaller probably. Of course it's a little bit smaller. What happened? You getting burnt? Yeah. 363. 363. Yeah, three and a half on it. Let me get a pick. I got this. There he is. Hooked up again. These fish are seeming to be pretty aggressive when you throw the drop shot in there. It's a quality bedfish, man. This is kind of what we're after. Today's fish about this size. They're not 10 pound, eight pound largemouth, but they're just so much fun to catch. Just like straight brute force. Oh, yeah, you're mad. You're mad, I know. Not a terrible fish. Probably about two pounds. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. I just went and took a swim because I was feeling pretty tired. Gorgeous. What are your thoughts on today's uh, small fishery? Since we're almost done, or I guess we are done, according to you and Flair. We definitely caught more fish than you. And I have a big nose. Anything else you want? What else do you need me to say? I think that's about it. Flair, any thoughts on today? Uh. Your camera just broke. No, that was just a bunch of... I had a lot of fun catching some smaller jaws with a uh, squeak. Your squeak. Wait, can you... Your can squeak. Can I teach you everything you know about smallmouth fishing? No, you taught me everything I know about drop shot smallmouth fishing. Oh, okay. So it's smallmouth fishing, so basically. I, yes, pretty much. He owes me... I'm, I'm, I charge 800 an hour for guides, so you got to pay up. Nah. Day is done, for the most part. We're going to go to McDonald's here in a little bit. No. I don't know what Flair's doing. Flair still thinks we're going to be out here for another eight hours. He's getting tied up. I'm just getting ready for tomorrow, bro. And uh, we're going to do some drone footage because why not? But you're giving me the drone footage. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I was on this level of scrub, now I'm on this level of scrub, now when this video doesn't upload, I'm gonna be on this level of scrub. I'm just a scrub. I didn't even see that, you went so far up. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm a scrub.